it just feels like nothing really matters. Hi, I'm Jesse Miles. If you liked that intro, check out my other YouTube channel for my music videos around the world. Uh, the link is in the description. In this channel, I talk about the freedom to adventure because I believe that everyone deserves the freedom to adventure, but I recognize that you must first have freedom in order to pursue your own great adventure. Creating that freedom is what this channel is all about. So, I talked last time about why young people need to explore, and I focused on their need to learn more about themselves, which I think is absolutely paramount to living a meaningful, fulfilling life. You have to know who you are. Uh, before you know where you fit in the world, before you can find out what is meant for you, what, what you fit in, you have to know who you are, what you are, like what is, what, what fits me? You know, you need to know yourself before you can figure that out. And the best way to figure that out is by exploring and coming into contact with as wide of a variety of situations and circumstances and people and settings and environments as possible so that you can better understand what, what vibes with you. Like what of all of this do I enjoy? The more things you try, the more you know the, the more data you have to filter through to discover what really works for you. Try a bunch of different jobs, visit different countries, um, try different foods, all of the rest. Try different artistic hobbies, um, try different types of work, physical work, intellectual work, emotional work, which is, would be like counseling, you know, or a more um, hands-on uh, more abstract, just try different things and see what fits best. But the other reason that exploring is so important for young people is because it's important for them to know about the world. It's important for them to know how the world works. If you don't know how the world works, you're just a consumer. You're just a person who is blindly stumbling through life, just doing what everybody else is doing, and you're not thinking about things at the macro level or at the global level. You're not looking at the whole chessboard, which makes you a pawn. If you can't see the whole chessboard, then you are probably being a pawn in someone else's strategy, in someone else's game. Seeing things from a zoomed out perspective is absolutely essential if you're going to craft a intelligent strategy to reach your goals. You have to know enough about the world so that you can have that zoomed out perspective. You know, it's one thing to say, oh, I, I, I have Venmo and my friends have Venmo. I don't know what that means. I just know I have Venmo. It's another thing to say, hmm, me and all my friends have Venmo. This seems like a trend. I wonder if traditional banking is struggling and e-banks or digital payment services or digital wallets are becoming a primary form of financial service for young adults that will continue to grow. You know, once you see things through that lens, you become a better investor, obviously, because you can look at trends, you can look at growth patterns, and you can see how the world is interconnected and how it's working. So you can make better decisions about what you think will profit in the future. So obviously it makes you a better investor. To be an investor, you need to have a, a macro outlook. You need to have a global perspective. Uh, but to be even an individual trying to succeed in whatever form you're trying to succeed in, you really need to learn as much about the world as possible because we live in such an increasingly interconnected global world and you need to be able to understand how changes will affect your strategy. If you're trying to become an actor and you don't know about Apple doc, like you don't know about new streaming services and how they are creating their own shows, Netflix originals. 
if you don't know about oh an apple show if you don't know about an amazon prime original like if you aren't understanding that the trend is shifting from traditional you know paramount pictures or wingnut films to streaming services creating their own um companies their own film crews their own everything then you're not really as educated as you need to be to create the best strategy to become an actor um, the same thing goes if you're trying to become a musician if you're trying to become a professional athlete if you're trying to pursue work in any field you need to know what's going on you absolutely have to know enough about the world in general and about that specific industry so that you can make clever decisions and you can craft a uh you can craft a winning strategy